Hello, Northeastern Bobcats. My name is Devin Moyer, principal of El Orndorff Elementary, and it is exciting to welcome you to our preparations for kindergarten for the 2022-2023 school year. If you are a current Northeastern family, we are excited to welcome your next little Bobcat to our family. And if you are new to the Northeastern School District, we are super excited to welcome you and your child to our district family. The purpose of this slideshow and kindergarten information event is to provide you with the background you need to navigate the registration process so that we are fully prepared to begin your child for kindergarten on Thursday, August 25th. Throughout this presentation, you'll hear from myself, as well as Mr. Jeff Clifton, Principal of Mount Wolf Elementary, Mr. Ray March, Principal of York Haven Elementary, and Dr. Mindy O'Brien, Principal of Conewago Elementary. Right now, you may be watching this from home or possibly from one of our kindergarten information event locations. Regardless, I'd like to share with you some of the resources that we will have available to you at our information events. Each of the events are from 6 to 8 p.m. and will function under an open house format. You may arrive at any time during that time range. Although the events are at each of our elementary buildings, you can attend any of these events. It does not need to be at your assigned elementary. At each event, you will have the ability to chat with a number of different staff, including a building principal, a secretary, a school nurse, our district transportation director, a kindergarten teacher, a representative from our special education department, a reading support teacher, and an English language learner teacher. Additionally, Spanish translation services will be available at each event. Along with being able to talk to each of these representatives, you will also be able to visit a kindergarten classroom, schedule your registration appointment, and you can even begin your online registration process on one of our Chromebooks if you would like. We sincerely hope that you find this event to be extremely helpful and informative. Although this might sound crazy, I'm also super excited to welcome you to the class of 2035. This may sound like a long way off, but personally, being the parent of a daughter who is graduating from high school this spring, I can share the time will fly. As we prepare for this 13 year adventure with you and your student, please know that we are here to support you along the way. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions that you may have and know that we truly want to make this a positive experience for both you and your child. Hi, this is Jeff Clifton, the principal at Mount Wolf Elementary. I'm here to give you some general information about getting started with kindergarten. First, you can go to any of our building websites or the district website and connect to the kindergarten registration hub. On the hub, you will find helpful links to information and the registration process. You can also stop by any of our K-3 buildings and get a folder with paper copies of information. So what does the kindergarten day look like? They will have reading and writing activities, which now we call English Language Arts, or ELA, mathematics. The focus of math is counting in number sense and number ID, and also basic problem solving. Included in their day, they will have specials, art, music, library, and phys ed. They will have two recesses. They'll have lunch with the other kindergarten classes. And we will spend a lot of time focusing on structure and routines because we know that's what is best for our kindergarten friends. So what if your student rides the bus? All the kids are assigned a pickup and a take home stop. You can also bring your kids to school as a car rider or they can walk to school with you. Uh, importantly, a parent or other designated adult must come to school to pick the child up or must be at the bus stop to pick them up. The bus driver will not allow a kindergartner to get off the bus without an approved adult. Hi, it's Dr. O'Brien here to talk to you a little bit about the registration process for kindergarten this year. This evening, you will make an, a registration appointment with the school secretary where your child will attend or the school secretary that is here this evening in whatever building that you may be attending this event. Online registration paperwork needs to be completed. And at this appointment, you will bring the student and up to two adults. At this appointment, the school secretary will finalize any paperwork and go through all the information that you provided in the pre-registration. The school nurse will also be on hand to check health records and review any health concerns that you have about your child. 
There will also be a screener that will be done with your child using our early literacy assessment. The principal of the school building will also be on hand to answer any questions. What does the school secretary do? She reviews all of the registration materials, so please make sure that your online registration is complete before the appointment. She will look at the student's birth certificate and social security number. You will also need proof of residence. Two of these are required. Some examples might be a driver's license, a rental agreement, or mortgage paperwork. A utility bill with the address and name of the person who is registering your child is not one of the approved proof of residencies. The school nurse will be on hand to talk to you about immunization records, a physical exam for your child, and a dental exam for your child, and she will also describe for you what a health room visit would look like during the school year. For the student screener, the teacher will review letter identification, picture naming, retelling, articulation, word parts and sounds, and just make some general observations about your child while working with them. The school principal will be on hand to meet with you and your child and discuss any individual concerns or questions that you have at that time. Preparing your child for kindergarten. The single most thing you can do to help your child is to read to them. You can read to them and show them good fluency and good reading skills. This models what we will expect when they come and they learn to read. Secondly, while you're reading, you can ask them questions about what you read. Ask them about comprehension of the story or just general ideas about what they may like or not like. Playing is also another good option. This allows them to interact with other people and learn how to solve problems and work on large and fine motor skills, which they will need in school. Practicing, practicing the alphabet more so than just saying them or uh, talking about it is writing them and using them in real life. When you're out in the supermarket, you can ask your child to find certain letters and certain numbers. As you pass McDonald's or speed signs, ask them what letters or numbers are on the signs. They can practice identifying them. Asking questions of your child about what they read or what they're doing so they can explain would also be a good thing for them to do. Getting to know each other, we're going to talk and get you information regarding kindergarten orientation, which will be Thursday, August 25th. This is a day when the kids will come to school with their parents for a half day. The sessions will be assigned to you via email or mailing over the summer, but it's a chance for you to meet the teacher and the school staff that your child be working with for the school year. The building preview is the night before school starts, Wednesday, August 24th, hosted by the school and the PTO. This is a chance for you to come and check out the school, especially your child's classroom, to see where they will be. No teachers will be present for this, but you will be able to explore the school and the classroom as you see fit. 